First, it started with this. A dual mag, a good idea. Then, it got out of hand. So guys, uh, today we're gonna be talking about my various multi-mags and also this new Nerf gun. New in the sense that it, it was not in this configuration before. Yeah, um, so very easy to make these. This is just six, nine clips. Well, bleh, uh, uh, no, nine, six clips. Bleh. Yeah. Um, what else is there to say? It spins. Um, but uh, each. All these clips, they fit into a gun, so if I just take it and load it in here, they will all fit. Like, this is one right in the middle here, right? I have a bag over the light so it's not so blinding, which is, which was before messing up my video. So, you got, so it basically, it works on all of them. It's hard to do one-handed. Okay, so all of those magazines work. In all, that will give you 54 rounds of, capac of like you know ammunition without having to reach for another whatever. Because you're not going to carry multiple of these like on a vest or something. Usually, this would be for someone who does not have a vest and has a heck of a lot of useless uh, six mags sort of lying around that they never use. And they just want to turn it into something a little bit more practical, yet more impractical at the same time. So, yeah, this is like my most impractical configuration of magazines ever. This one, it's debatable how useful this is. Very debatable. Um, so those were the six mags. And then we have the 12. This is actually useful. Because um, you can just literally... You take it and you go, and you swap it and you put it back in. They're both facing the same way, so it doesn't. It's not quite as long. It is a little bit heavy because it's got that cardboard and stuff in between. But it's not nearly as heavy as like you know this, which is like a bunch of magazines. No, it's just this with some nice heavy duct tape. It looks cool too, and also you have the additional feature of being able to load this clip while this one is in the gun. Um, so that's cool. And this will fit, of course, in a rapid strike. All of these mags will. Um, which is super neat. And then we come to a little bit more impractical than that, but if you really just don't want to reach for another stick mag when you're running like a rapid strike or something that will burn through ammo fast, then you got this. This is way more efficient than that one because they literally, they weigh about the same. But, and they're, this one, and they're about the same size, like if you cut that off and put it up there. But this way, this one is sort of like side to side bigness, which makes it cumbersome. This one is just up and down. It's just a little bit longer than a regular 18. So, yeah. And it's got 72 rounds capacity, which is awesome. And it's literally just four 18s taped together. And of course the black one that I painted. But... You know, if they were all orange, it would look better, but, you know, oh well, it works. So, yeah, these are, that was my four, um, smash them together clips. And now let's go over this thing, this gun here. This is, um, here, let me just pop the bipod, because I got a bipod handle from the Stampede forever ago. Um, so this thing is um, it's just a monster of tape plastic and metal actually That's this barrel right here that goes through the whole thing is metal it does hook up to a fly little cage back there um, so this thing's semi-automatic it's got I put a little rail that was over on the front of it this was this piece and this stock was from a demolisher at one point. The demolisher, well, let's just say it got demolished. 
it turned into its two separate components. The actual flywheel blaster and the pump rocket, which I don't know where that is. It's somewhere around. I'll find it at some point and show it to you. Actually, I'll just go find it right now. But yeah, see, this is the um, rocket, and it got mutilated because I accidentally tore off one of the fins, and then it wouldn't fly straight, so I just cut the whole back part off of it, and now it's much better. But now it's sort of like a... You just sort of use it. I'm not really sure how, even. So I guess you just, like, put it on your knee or something. It's a knee mortar. Guys, we got a knee mortar. It, that didn't work. See, it, when, it, when it's, like, in this configuration, it's hard to get a like um, a good pump on it so I'm gonna have to like turn it into a launcher or something at some point um, there it goes that's really lame you're lame okay but yeah I just totally just shredded the front of this thing because the demolisher itself looks cool um, so yeah there would be a big bulky massive thing there um, but yeah, that's over there now. So it's now the Demolisher 1 of 2, so the Demolisher 2 in 1. Um, this is this whole thing's been taped over. I was trying to make um I was trying to make a R A S A the RSAS um I think it's a British weapon. It's but it's in it's in the Call of Duty games. Well, actually it's just in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I think. Anyway, it's in Call of Duty, so I thought it was cool. I tried to do it, but I failed badly. Yeah, you're probably all gonna tell me how bad this looks. Um, there's no attachment, um, like you know, barrel extension attachment point here, because the the whole thing I shortened it. It used to be like this long. The whole stinking thing was enormous just to have that massive undermounted. Um, you know, grenade thing. So, I had to, I actually cut it all the way down. So, like, literally, right under this tape here, there's a big uh, flywheel right there. I literally just cut it all the way to the flywheels. And then I taped this onto the front after, um, hopefully securely enough. But there's a barrel that goes through here, and it sort of goes into the flywheel cage, so I don't think that's going to be coming out anytime soon. There's lots of orange tape all over it, and that does sort of indicate that it is indeed a toy. Uh, if I painted it black, it would look so much cooler, but I have to, like, re-orange the tip or something lame like that. So, for now, it's just, like, it's just going to look dorky. Um, I call, I'm... I put a name on it. I'm so I'm probably gonna get like sued by Remington or something. Evington M P B R. I'll let you try and figure out what that set what that is. M P B R the M P B R M P B R M P B R the Evington M P B R. Yes, yes. Okay, so it's the M P B R. We got our M P B R. We're ready for battle. Let's go. Oh yeah. So, honestly, the coolest magazine. Oh, it just fell. The coolest magazine that you can really put in anything, though, is the um, the ten with the the curved ten mag. I wish I had some worker mags, but I'm lazy, so I don't want to go on the internet and buy those. It it looks pretty beast. I wish it was black still. Um, of course. Here, let me get that clip out of there. I also have a big drum, so if you so desired, you could rev up a drum and start slamming away. I removed the, um, the, that, yeah, actually, you can see that is the jam door. So I removed the jam door on this, which was, uh, it was sort of, I, I don't know if it was a good idea or not, but it, it happened. This is probably super shaky and weird. Let's get that out. But yeah, so that was like a weird video about the Evington Mbber and uh, the these mags, and they all work in most Nerf blasters. They don't work in like retaliators because they got this weird. They got this weird um, fang 
or whatever there and it just doesn't work like you try and put it on and this is like access denied so like it's just it's 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 saying no no just don't don't even think about it it's saying but I'm thinking about it and it's just not working so that doesn't really work I mean it the retaliator actually does work with this one because I actually specifically designed this clip around uh, the retaliator so that it would actually work with this and other blasters like it. Retaliator is one of the coolest. I also put like a weird thing on it. This is just a nerf video. This is so weird. Okay. Guys. I'm really bad at this. Goodbye.